Hey, what's up? Um, so today we're going to talk about my friend Carlos. Carlos. And, um, so he's not my friend anymore. Um, most of the people that I talk about on this channel are not my friend anymore because of what they've done, what they said, or whatever. So, I met Carlos. I don't really remember how I met him, but that's not the case. It doesn't really matter, so... I met Carlos and, um, he, uh, did he work at the Publix near me or, he worked at a Publix close nearby near me. Publix is a, um, shopping center or a grocery store, like, um, Walmart, Target, like, it's a smaller, well, not that small, but not too small as a shopping grocery store, whatever. There's a lot of them in Florida. It's a mainly Florida. Maybe other places have it, but mostly Florida um, that I know of. Um, he works at Publix, and I would always visit him because I would know. I, I knew that he worked there. Um, but before I get into that, so I'm, one day we were in the car, and um, someone that he knew was like, Texting or calling or yeah texting because he wouldn't answer the phone normally if you call. He uh, his friend was texting him him at the same time I'm in the car next to him because at the time I didn't have a car of my own. Um, and his friend texts him, "Who's that person in the car?" And I'm like, "Are you stalking us or?" And, uh, I don't even know really what the deal was with him, but Carlos liked to lie and to go around things, and, uh, people would know. I would know for sure. I would know if you're lying to me or not. And so he would lie all the time, and I would just, whatever. Um... So, in 2008, me and Carlos went to American Idol auditions because we thought that we would get on TV because of some strange reason, which I didn't think that. I just wanted to see how it was or whatever. So, I told him, you know, if you sing Spanish, you might actually make it on the show and uh, you'll do well for at least... Maybe get on the top 24, maybe. Because I heard him sing Spanish and it was really... Well, to me, it was good. But I don't know about other people. But I remember we um, we were in line and I just, we were just so tired. We were just singing and singing and singing and practicing our song. And then we were in line from like 4 in the morning to like 11 in the morning and then we were like finally we can get food or whatever even though we were both broke because I didn't have a job really and uh, we went to Publix and we went to Publix and we bought sandwiches and chicken and soda or whatever and this is the first time I've ever had like it's like this strawberry soda Publix brand stuff it's so good and he introduced me to it and that was cool so we went to American Idol and we were there for like two days. The day before we were just practicing, singing, and we were in the parking lot just singing, singing, practicing in the car, walking around and meeting people. And and then 4 a.m. we waited until 4 a.m. where that's when you can wait in line to audition. So we get to final audition, and it's tw then I remember Ryan Seacrest saying, uh, you know, there's 20,000 people in here or whatever. Some people were practicing singing behind the door, closed door, behind the, you know, when the door opens and it's the whole crack. I mean, when the door opens and there's a wall, like a wall like this, and you open the door and it's like, whatever. They were singing behind the door like it was really funny. Um, and all the food there was kind of expensive, like $10, $15 to buy, like, a hot dog. It was crazy. 
But, um, anyways, so later on, Carlos became very, very sneaky, very, very a liar. He made up lies, and, and, I don't really know, but I, I, when I got a car, I visited him in, at his other Publix that he transferred to, which was not that far from my house either. I would go here, there, I would, ugh. I would go there a lot and just, um, just say hello or you gotta come by and hang out or be social and whatever and uh, he was just always that person that he worked hard but lied a lot and um, so I guess we just started not to talk and as of two years ago we broke friendship and just said screw it because you just you lie and you just you're I don't even know you're good person besides all the lying, if, if the lying and all the awkwardness and all the people that he didn't, I don't know, it was just, I, I grown away from him and just moved on with my life and just said, screw it, I don't, I don't need you in my life and your lying's not helping me and, um, I saw him last year and it was very awkward, and he was with this loser kid. I could tell he's a loser because he was just, no one knew him. Well, is that me judging him? I guess. I don't know. But I saw him and just looked at him straight in the eye and just was like, Phew. haven't changed. But, um, yeah, so that's my story with Carlos. I'm going to try to do, like, every person that, I don't talk to a, a video about them because there's some funny things that happen like it's crazy but anyways please share subscribe whatever you want to do you know I want my stories to be known so if you know someone that has a lot of subscriptions or Twitter followers or something share these videos it might be something that they might have went through and I want people to know them so with that being said, peace out.